Dobar dan, dragi učenici, i dobrodošli na još jedan sat engleskog jezika. Danas ćemo razgovarati o temi koju smo pričali prošli put, a to su životinje i staništa. Na kraju današnjih sata očekujemo da ćete moći i znati povezati staništa i životinje, uspoređivati životinje, a nakon što oslušamo jednu priču, i pokazati razumijevanje, dakle razumijevanje priče o kojoj se govori o životinjama, ja vam za sad neću reći o kojim, o staništima i o uspoređivanju životinja. But first, let's revise the vocabulary we learned on the previous lesson. So we talked about habitats and we talked about animals and how animals adapt to different habitats. So now look at the pictures, listen and repeat. Seas and oceans. Good. Next one. Mountain. And here is the new one. Rainforest. Tko znači rainforest? Jungla. Rainforest. Dakle, slušajte i ponavljajte. Polar region. Forest. Grassland. Okay, thank you. And a bit of practice for you again. So uh, you already know the procedure. Just copy the following bit.ly address into your browser and practice. Uh, you can match the words and pictures. You can listen to the words and type the words. And then you can uh, check your spelling. And let's start with our animals. So, uh, we were talking about uh, different habitats. Now, what animals live in the mountains? Okay, you can see here two pictures and two animals, a goat and a wolf. A goat is fast, a wolf is strong. Which animal is faster? And which animal is stronger? Ako pogledate pridjevu fast, dodali smo nastavak er, brza, još brža, i ovdje isto pridjevu strong, dodali smo nastavak er, jak, jači. And of course, a goat is faster than a wolf, But a wolf is stronger than a goat. I ovdje smo još nešto dodali. Dakle, kad smo dodali pridjevu nastavak R, još smo iz pridjeva stavili riječ den. Koza je brža od vuka. Vuk je jači od koze. And how about the seas and oceans? Again, we have got two pictures and two animals. A dolphin and a turtle. A dolphin is cute, a turtle is slow. So, which animal is cuter and which animal is slower? Mm -hmm. A dolphin is cuter than a turtle, a turtle is slower than a dolphin. Iako možda nekim učenicima je Kornjača simpatičnija od dupina, ali većini učenika dupin je simpatičniji od kornjače. A ovdje smo opet dodali nastavak R, ali samo nastavak R, jer pridjev cute je već imao slovo E, pa mu nismo trebali dodati još jedno slovo E. A kod kornjače smo dodali nastavak E, R. And of course, a camel is larger than a lizard. And a lizard is shyer than a camel. Opet smo dodali nastavak, ali samo r, jer large ima slovo e. I kod kuštera se dogodila malo drugačija promjena. Pridjev shy završava na y i taj y se promijenio u i. 
Dakle, promijenili smo y u i i dodali nastavak r. And let's see about the forest and the forest animals. Two animals, a fox and a rabbit. A fox is smart, a rabbit is funny. Which animal is smarter and which animal is funnier? Right. A fox is smarter than a rabbit. A rabbit is funnier than a fox. I što smo sad ovdje napravili? Evo, dodali smo pridjevu smart nastavak R kao i svima do sada. A kod zječića pridjevu funny isto kao i kod pridjeva shy y se promijenio u i i dodali smo nastavak R. A rabbit is funnier than a fox. I opet svaki put dodajemo riječ den. Let's see about the grassland. Who lives there? So we have two animals, an elephant and a giraffe. An elephant is big, a giraffe is tall. Which animal is bigger and which animal is taller? Of course. An elephant is bigger than a giraffe, but a giraffe is taller than an elephant. Uh, pogledajte ovdje što smo sad napravili. Imamo pridjev big koji je vrlo kratki pridjev i dodali smo, udvostručili smo uh, zadnji suglasnik. Sad imamo dva slova g i opet smo dodali nastavak r. Uvijek dodajemo nastavak r. A kod žirafe smo dodali samo nastavak R i nikakve druge promjene nema. Let's see about the polar region and two animals that live in the polar region. A penguin and a seal. A penguin is a good swimmer. A seal is fat. Which animal is a better swimmer? And which animal is fatter? Ok, i što sad ovdje imamo? A penguin is a better swimmer than a seal. A seal is fatter than a penguin. A, dakle, ovdje smo sasvim promijenili pridjev. Više nemamo pridjev good, nego imamo a, pridjev better. A, a pridjev fat smo dodali nastavak r, ali isto koji kod pridjeva big udvostručili smo zadnje slovo. And what about the rainforest? Uh, there are two uh, animals in these pictures. A monkey and a snake. And a monkey is bad. A snake is uh, a monkey is a bad swimmer and a snake is thin. So which animal is a worse swimmer and which animal is thinner? Well, a monkey is a worse swimmer than a snake and a snake is thinner than a monkey. Well, a monkey is a worse swimmer than a snake and a snake is thinner than a monkey. I ovdje imamo jednu promjenu pridjeva. Dakle, pridjevu bad nismo dodali nastavak r, nego smo sasvim promijenili u riječ worse. A pridjevu thin, koji je isto kratak kao i fat i big, opet smo udvostručili zadnji suglasnik i dodali nastavak r. Ok. I da zaključimo sad što radimo s pridjevima kad uspoređujemo dvije stvari ili dvije životinje. Dakle, Uh, to some adjectives, to most of the adjectives, we add the ending er, like fast and faster and slow and so, slower. To some adjectives, we add only the ending r, because they already have the letter e, like cute and the large. Then some adjectives that end in y change y into i like shy and funny and then some adjectives they double the consonant like big and bigger and fat and 
better. And some adjectives totally change, like uh, the adjective good, better, and bad, worse. But remember, when we compare two things, we always use the word then. Fine. Sjećate se da smo na početku današnje lekcije rekli da ćemo slušati priču o dvije životinje. E pa sad ćemo poslušati jednu priču o dva majmuna. So you will listen to the story about two monkeys. Their names are Ricky and Sam. They are brothers. But before listening, let's learn something about them. Look at them. Look at these two pictures and look at the table. And let's compare them. Who is younger? Mm -hmm. uh, Sam is two and Ricky is four. So who is younger? Right. Sam is younger than Ricky. And uh, the adjective small. Look at Sam. Look at Ricky. But koje manje od njih dvojice? Fine. Sam is smaller than Ricky. And now uh, Sam is 60 centimeters tall and Ricky is 70 centimeters tall. So who is taller? Right, Ricky is taller. And uh, look at how big they are. Who is bigger? Okay, Ricky is bigger, and if you look at the table, he is heavier too. And uh, if you look at them, uh, Sam has got a banana, so he definitely can climb a tree, and Ricky doesn't have a banana, so who is a better climber? Mm -hmm. Sam is a better climber, and Ricky is a worse climber than Sam. Good. And now let's listen to the story. So Sam is a monkey. He lives in the rainforest. He has got only one brother, Ricky, and he has got his mom, his dad, three uncles, three aunts, and six cousins. But Sam is sometimes unhappy. He is younger and smaller than his brother, and his brother laughs at him. And his cousins too. They are all older than he is. In the rainforest, it usually rains for days. This time, there is really a lot of rain, and after a week of raining, the banana tree turns into an island. A big lake is all around their small island, and monkeys cannot swim. Sam is thinner and shorter than other monkeys in his family, and only he can climb up the tiny branches and jump and reach branches of a banana tree on the other side of the lake. So he jumps and picks bananas and throws bananas to his family. Finally, it stops raining. He jumps back on his family banana tree and everybody is happy and everybody hugs him. He is now braver than his brother and happier than ever. And you may do the task now. Circle the correct adjective. Uh, if you want to, you may pause the video. You may listen to my recording again and then do the task. So, who is younger, who is heavier, and who is taller? And then you can check your answers. And let's check. Rick is older than his brother, Sam is thinner than Ricky, and Ricky is taller than Sam. And your turn now to compare these two elephants into your notebook. They are sisters and their names are Daisy and Elsie. Daisy is big, bad runner and funny. And Elsie, uh, she has got nice ears. She is a good runner and she is young. And self-assessment. 
So let's see what you can do now. Um, if you can name seven different habitats, put a tick. If you can name ten wild animals, put a tick. If you can say which animals live in which habitat, put a tick. I can compare animals, put a tick. I can listen and understand a short story, put a tick. I need some help with write if you need some help. Okay, bye-bye.